Vaikov, the man, the method, the mystic. In chapter 4, Hank gives us an introduction to Vaikov and his methodology. He starts by saying who Vaikov was, then gets into his method, later tells us why he calls Vaikov method a mystic. Vaikov started as a stockbroker's runner at the age of 15, become a brokerage firm auditor a few years later, and at age 25 opened his own brokerage firm. He had written a lot of market articles, book, and had a cult following at 1920s. About Wyckoff's method, it is a five-step method of market analysis, which is the heart of this book and explained in detail at chapter 7. Meanwhile, summary of his five-step method is Step 1. Determine the present position and probable future trend of the market. Then decide how you are going to play the game. Use bar charts and point and figure charts of market indices. Step 2. Select stocks in harmony with the trend. If you are playing the game long, select stocks which you believe are stronger than the market. If you are not sure about an individual issue, drop it. Use bar chart of individual stocks. Step 3. Select stocks with cause that equals or exceeds minimum objective. Choose stocks that are under accumulation or reaccumulation. Use point and figure charts of individual stocks. Step 4. Determine the stock's readiness to move. Rank stocks in order of your preference. Use bar charts and figure charts of individual stocks. Apply the 9 tests of buying and selling outlined in chapter 6 and 7. Step 5. Time your commitment with a turn in the stock market index. Put your stop loss in place and relax. Then follow through until you close out the market position. Use bar chart. Wyckoff the mystic. The mystic of Wyckoff is wrapped up with three things. First. His celebrity status revealed by Penn, who declared Wyckoff a titan of technical analysis. 2. The Wyckoff method's codification of the best practices used by the old-time traders technician, many examples of which are found in the famous book Reminiscence of Stock Operator. 3. The Wyckoff concept of composite man. Let's look at Wyckoff's composite man. Wyckoff based the composite man and his own trading philosophy on observation and intimate understanding of such famous old-time profession of the early 20th century as James R. Keane, Russell Sage, Edward H. Harriman and Jesse Livermore. Indeed, Reminiscence of Stock Operator, which is dedicated to Jesse Livermore, is an excellent model of the composite man or composite operator. Wyckoff implored traders to follow in the footsteps of the composite man to think like him. Wyckoff argued that all fluctuation in the market and in all the various stocks should be studied as if they were the result of one man's operation. Let us call him composite man who in theory sits behind the scene and plays a stock to his advantage. He went on to advise the trader to understand and play the market game as the composite man played the game. In general, the Wyckoff philosophy accepted that the composite man carefully plans, executes and concludes his campaigns. The composite man creates a broad market by advertising his stock on the ticker tape. One must study charts with the purpose of judging the behavior of the stock and the motives of those who dominate it. One must look for the motives behind the action that a chart portrays. Wyckoff and his associate believe that the market behaves naturally in this very manner. If you learn to understand this market behavior of a so-called composite man, you can learn to make judgments then conclusion that should have a positive effect in your stock market operation. To attain the perspective of the composite man, we should ask ourselves such basic question as what is the motive of the composite man? What would I do if I were the composite man? 
in addition to this basic question we should add questions like what is that the composite man is attempting to prepare or carry out or conclude what is the composite man attempting to do the public and for what purpose